Hello! In this tutorial, we will take a look at customizing the GNOME desktop by creating a new theme with three new elements, the icons, the window dressing, and the application controls. The theme manager is located in the systems menu under preferences and is available with the second option from the bottom. Now, the first screen here lists a, a set of, of themes that are available to be used. Human is the default theme that comes with Ubuntu Linux and that Ubuntu uses upon first installation. But there are several other themes here available uh, that, that can be selected from to change the look and the feel of Ubuntu Linux. But there might be a time when one wants to go beyond these set themes and uh, really customize the way things look. For example, this industrial tango theme changes the window dressing or the window manager controls, that is the buttons here in the window corners itself and the way the border looks. It changes the icons, as you can see in the menus. The icons are now blue instead of the default orange that come with Ubuntu Linux. And the controls, that is the buttons and the sliders and the progress bars and those types of things have also changed. Those three elements can be further customized by going into theme details. These are the three elements that I just mentioned. The controls, which again are the buttons and the sliders and that sort of thing. The window border, which is the blue bar here at the top with these buttons, the open, close, and minimize type buttons, and the icons. Now one can customize and create their own theme by selecting three different elements. For example, Clearlooks Lemon Graphite, which was a theme downloaded from art.gnome.org, is the uh, theme for the, for the controls and the buttons. Window Border, one can select perhaps a different window border. And the icons can be changed. Changing these three elements creates an individualized theme. The icons now are the tangerine icons. The window border is the legacy human window border. And the controls are the clear looks lemon graphite. Let's try a different one. Let's go with the gray controls, sort of a very blocky look. The window border of clear looks, a rounded window border with smaller buttons, and the standard gnome icons. And then close. As you can see, things look very different. The icons that you see here are the standard icons that come with the GNOME desktop environment. The window controls are, are now different. And the buttons are sort of a blocky look. And you can see how the slider looks very different. Now, creating our own theme and making those changes creates a new entry here in the Theme Preferences Manager. And it says Custom Theme. If we like what we've done, we can click Save Theme and give it a name. And if you'd like, you can also change the background image and tie it to the same theme. Let's do that now before we go any further. Let's change the desktop background to an image that was downloaded from art.gnome.org. And we'll do finish and we will save the background image. So now it's called My Theme. 